Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali, aka Awotero, and I'm here to give you your weekend reading. We're going to tap into that energy, see what's coming towards you this weekend. But before we get started, guys, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, Sagittarius, as you all know, my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it, and there is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers are always welcome. Don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. Alrighty, universe, what's coming towards Sagittarius this weekend? What's going on with Sagittarius this weekend? You got the Page of Wands here and the Seven of Wands here. Someone's gonna get ready to reach out to you, and you're not gonna you're not gonna answer back. With the Seven of with the Seven of Wands here, you're guarded. You're guarded, and whoever's gonna reach out to you, you're not even gonna pay no mind, no attention to this person. Okay. This may be somebody that you were in a higher level commitment. You may be dealing with an Aries here. This person is passionately coming towards you, okay? They forcefully want to speak with you. There's something going on in this person's life that's causing them a tower moment, and it may be the fact that you're not wanting to deal with them. With the judgment here, you have made a decision. You don't want to be stuck in this situation. This person has caused you so much sadness, and you're done with it, okay? So when this person reaches out, you're not even going to bother to answer back. This person's coming towards you because they're scared. They're scared that this is coming to an end. With the world, yep, there's a cycle that has yet to be completed. Disconnect, you're leaving this connection out in the cold. You're not dealing with this person anymore. Whatever this person did to you in the past, you're letting it go already. You're tired of it. You're tired of dealing with the indecision. You're tired of dealing with the bullshit. And you just don't want to deal with, with whatever toxicity this person has brought into your life here. With the six, with the three of pentacles, this person's trying to put the work in the connection. They're going to offer you this new beginning in love here. Okay? They want the opportunity to be able to come back around and reconcile with you. But with this queen of swords, you've turned your back on them. With the two of wands, you've chosen to take another path here. A lot of you guys will not answer to this person or this person may just be totally blocked. But somebody's going to text message you this weekend and you're not going to want to talk to them. Why? Because they put you in a third party situation and you got tired of it. Okay? This person is going to try to communicate to you. I'm done with the past. I'm done with, with this. I'm done with that. Please give me an opportunity. I want to be able to release what no longer serves me to be able to have a new opportunity here with you. But you don't believe them. With the justice, you feel like they're still lying to you with the justice in the reverse. You don't believe them. You feel that this person just literally, after they did what they did and you found out, they got scared. Or they're scared. And you don't believe them. With the moon here, you feel that this person is still hiding things from you. That they're not disclosing everything. With the with the king of swords here, you're pissed off. You're not gonna deal, you're not gonna want to hear them. You're gonna tell them straight out to leave you alone. You don't want to deal with this anymore. I did see the five of swords right now. This person was very deceptive. With the four of pentacles, this person is scared that they've missed an opportunity with you. With the nine of pentacles here, with the nine of pentacles here, um, this person feels unstable. They feel lost. They feel lonely. They feel like everything is going wrong in their life without you. What else, universe? They want to try to come back and heal this connection. But you feel that it's too burdensome. Look at the five of swords. This person has done so much damage to you that you don't want to plan a future with them. You are so guarded with this person. You have given up on this connection. You feel that this person is so imbalanced. And with the six of swords here, you're moving away from it. With the king of wands, this person was so in and out in the past. They put you in so many third-party situations. They backstabbed you all the time that you're done with it. You are done with it. You have made a decision not to work on this connection anymore. For a lot of you guys, you have this person blocked. You have this person blocked, and you do not want to work on this connection no more. For a want to, this per this, you had this person either leave your home or you left your home, okay? But you don't want this connection anymore. You're done with them. 
Sagittarius has left the building. You feel that this person is very toxic and you're walking away. You're walking away from this past person because you don't want to deal with the stuff anymore. They put you through too much. And for a lot of you guys, you feel like there is no way you can reconcile here. What is the final advice here, universe? Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. This person wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but pay attention to the red flags. You feel that this person is still up to no good. Okay? Alrighty, guys. I hope this reading gives you some form of clarity. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. You guys have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye.